Hey, what up, guys? This is Sean Blue. Welcome back to another episode of Here's Looking at You with Sean Blue. I am here to talk to you guys about the movie The Ref, starring David Leary and Kevin Spacey. I'm sorry, um, Dennis Leary and Kevin Spacey. Uh, Dennis Leary, he is, um, he started off as a stand-up comedian, but of course, um, you see Dennis Leary in a lot of stuff like TV acting and movie acting, such as The Ref. And of course, Kevin Spacey, a big time movie actor. Don't see too much of him anymore. We know why. But, um, this was kind of like a dark comedy. It, it was, it was a comedy that it takes place during Christmas time where Dennis Leary, he plays a cat burglar where he breaks into people's homes and steals like money and jewelry and whatever thing valuable that he can get his hands on. But when he, he was um, at this one mansion, it kind of backfired and he set off an alarm and he had this um, older partner named uh, Murray and his character was named Murray and uh, Murray took off on him while he got scared. So he left um, Dennis Leary um, behind and so Dennis Leary was kind of up a creek, especially because he kind of got injured along the way. Uh, a dog bit him. So he was just walking around this random, beautiful town, but this random town, and he didn't know what to do. So he was just walking around town. Okay, now Kevin Spacey and his wife, they were kind of going through like a crisis where it looks like they were going to get a divorce. Well, at least the wife wanted one, and... Uh, Kevin Spacey is one of those guys, despite, like, even though t times are tough, he still does want to get a divorce because he does not believe in separation like that. And so, like, after they left this one shrink, which was a very funny scene, um, they went to do some last-minute shopping for um, Christmas, why it was Christmas Eve. Um, so, like, um, uh, Kevin Spacey decided to stay in the car as the wife went inside the store and uh, that's when Dennis Leary was walking around the other corner, and he saw the woman walking by herself, so he followed her inside, planning on kidnapping her, and because having a hostage for a bit or two, figures out how the hell to get out of there. But then he took her back, and I don't think he knew that Kevin Spacey was there. He thought it was because a woman by herself. By the way, he kidnapped the both of them. They went back to their house. He had them tied up, and <laughs> Dennis Leary realized real fast that these are not... Typical, normal, um, upper middle class people. These people had a lot of problems and they don't mind fighting in front of Dennis. Like they're scared of Dennis, but also at the same time, not really. And, uh, Kevin Spacey and his wife also have a son who's like a real spoiled brat and he's off in military school and he's coming back for the holidays and he really doesn't want to, despite him not liking military school, he really does not like, um, his house. So the boy didn't want to go back home right away. He was paying this one limo driver to circle around the block over and over again because, yeah, that's how much he wanted to avoid going home. And also, his um, drills constructor, or whatever that type of man is called over in uh, military school, he was blackmailing. The, the teenage boy was blackmailing his uh, military dr uh, drill instructor. And... Eventually, the boy ends up coming home. He had the one up on Dennis at first, but then Dennis just overpowered the kid and tied him up with the parents. And there was there was other relatives coming over for uh, uh, the uh, like a dinner, and along with su such as um, Kevin Spacey's uh, little brother and his wife and his kids, and Kevin Spacey's mother, and his mother is a real witch, and um. Dennis, after meeting her, realized that real fast, and just a lot of whole different, a lot of crazy antics are going on. But this, but they were, it was weird because, in some ways, Dennis kind of became a therapist for Kevin and, and his wife, and he ended up helping him out, and, and vice versa. They ended up helping Dennis escape at the end, and he kind of helped them out with the problems by. Yeah, you got to air it out and stuff. And, and Kevin finally did st stand up towards his mother and he stood up against his wife too and vice versa. And it seemed like that, and it looks like the, they're going to actually stay together Why after arguing and stuff like that. And um, looking back in the past, they realized, you know what? We do love each other and we're going through some tough times, but we can go through it together. 
And yeah, it was, but the biggest problem was Kevin Spacey sticking up to his mother, who is a real witch. And he did. And she's, that's his mom. She's always going to be a part of his life and that's fine. But he needs to learn how to deal with her because it was their mother's house that they were living in, Kevin Spacey and his wife. And, and he always had to pay his mother back about living there. And like when a funny line um, that Dennis said to the mother in the movie is like, I know loan sharks that are more forgiving than you. <laughs> That's how horrible this mother was. So um, a very funny movie, an old movie. It's from the 90s. It's, um, oh, wait, real fast. It's 97 minutes long. And it came out. Blah, 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 blah. I can't find the date on this. Oh, shoot. Well, I can't find the date in this, but it came out sometime in the 90s. And so an old movie, but I give this movie three stars because it is a Christmas movie and I love Christmas movies. And it's kind of a dark comedy. Not too dark, to be fair. Not too dark. There wasn't no deaths or anything like that. So, um, yeah, so three stars.